So just over three hours into first long ride. Started with climbing up snowball, that was really snowball, that was really fun. Definitely feel your lungs going up to that height. And then just been cruising along Lake Mary Road. Basically all like that, getting battered. So three weeks away now from my first Ironman World Champs as a pro, which is, yeah, slightly terrifying, but also really exciting. Feels like it's been so long since we've had one. So really looking forward to that. Things are good. So I've been out in the States for coming up to three weeks, just over three weeks now. Flew out just a week before, well, five days before Oceanside 7.3 as a bit of a prep race um, and then from Oceanside we drove over to Flagstaff. So I thought it'd be good to get a four week block of altitude in before St George which is why we came here. Partly just for the benefits of altitude training and partly because St George is at a little bit of altitude like not much so 800 meters but I think that's enough to have a little bit of an effect. So yeah had like the first week in Flagstaff kind of just chilling out a bit, recovering from Oceanside, having an easy first week at altitude. Yeah, I think it's quite easy to burn out, do too much and kind of forget the, the effects of altitude that it has as well. That was pretty steady, like still a fair amount of volume, but not really any intensity. Then last week was like a much more normal, I guess kind of Ironman training week, five pretty solid swims in the week. I had like a big run session last Tuesday. So I've been trying to get a bit more hills in my run sessions. So the run session I've been doing is like 3K warm up, then three lots of 10 minute uphill with the downhill still being pretty fast, just to try and get that kind of like up and downhill load in the legs. So that ends up being like an hour and a half session of. So it's a good block of about an hour of work, but it's pretty low risk because it's all like good road surface I'm running on. I'm not doing anything super fast. Um, and yeah, getting some long rides in on the gravel bikes, which has been awesome. The trails are epic and just long, flat, amazing gravel roads. Again, like the roads for TTing around here are just perfect. So they're kind of like long, straight, nice surface. Saturday was a bit of a mission. I had six hours on the bike and it was a super windy day. Yeah, like gusts of like 50 miles an hour and just said generally it must have been about 20, 30 miles an hour base wind. I got onto this amazing road that's by this volcano and it was like 50, 60 kilometers an hour for 30K out and then turning back in. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. Uh, it was taking like yeah, about 40 minutes on the way out and about an hour and 10 to get back on the same stretch, which shows quite how windy it was. And I had to do it twice to get the distance and time in, which, yeah, nearly broke me. <laughs> it's like some long tempo runs as well. Like the roads here are actually really similar to St. George. So I had like a basically 28K run on Sunday that was like 6K steady. 8k at tempo, 4k steady, and then 8k of alternating, like slightly faster, slightly slower tempo. Um, and the good thing is like a lot of the roads here have got the kind of gradual ups and downs like St. George has. So yeah, generally really good training and feeling really good running, going well. This week is pretty similar to last week in terms of what I've got. And then next week, kind of keeping a bit of intensity, but taking a bit of volume out and then travel to St. George on the 29th. Very much enjoying a bit of sunshine. Yeah, it's actually been quite warm here. 
not super warm. So the other thing I've been doing is getting some heat sessions in. Like St. George basically could be really nice kind of temperatures around sort of like 20 degrees or it could be really hot. So yeah, getting some heat in just to make sure that if it is really hot, I'm ready for that. I think again, the kind of like adaptation and benefit you get from heat training is, is good anyway. It's also been really nice just having some other people to train with. So I've been doing like some bike sessions and some swim sessions with Renee Kiley, who's been out here doing altitude as well before St. George. It's always quite hard trying to get stuff to kind of coordinate, like different coaches obviously set quite different stuff, but we've managed to get like a few decent bike sessions and, uh, and just general bike sim, which has been really good. I think the nice thing with training with other people is like you usually have days where one of you feels good and maybe the other one doesn't feel as good and you can like help bring the other person on. So like definitely like the first session we did, it was the day after my run session and my legs were not in a good shape and I was absolutely dying trying to hang on to Rene. And then I think sort of vice versa at the weekend on the steady ride, she had had like a couple of really solid days beforehand. So I guess I was helping her through that a little bit. Also had Holly Lawrence out, she came out last week. So again, she's been swimming with us, <laughs> with us. Uh, I mean, I'm the one that's swimming, <laughs> not really with them. <laughs> More doing my own thing. Rode with me on Sunday before my long run and then was actually like water boy for me for the first half of that long run, which was like super helpful. As I said, it's quite hot out here. So you don't really want to be going two hours without getting like water and nutrition in but I wanted to be able to go kind of like all the way out and back to have more of that St. George stimulation. So really cool, we've been having her out here to train with as well. It's also really lucky we've got a guy out here that's cooking for us. So again, it just takes one thing away to think about. It also means we've been eating really well. <laughs> Had all these like amazing spreads of like barbecued steak with potatoes and all the roast veg and oh, like just everything and it means like you get back from swimming porridge is ready get back from a hard training session there's like a glass of chocolate milk and then food's ready within like five ten minutes so yeah that's been really helpful in the run up to St George everything's kind of good it's just been yeah like head down getting the work done it feels quite surreal that it is now this close to to get into the world champs I think gonna feel pretty nerve-wracking being on that start line but you know training's going really well Oceanside showed that my run's coming along nicely so I'm hoping that with the way that St George should kind of suit me that hopefully I can get a solid result.